Four Russian County residents who plan to get the COVID-19 vaccine but don't want to wait a month between doses, the health department is offering an alternative. Dr. Tommy Gerald, the director for the Russian County Health Department, announced in an email Monday that Johnson & Johnson's one-shot vaccine is now available. Up until now, the only vaccination being offered in the county was the one manufactured by Moderna, which, like the one made by Pfizer, requires two doses four weeks apart. On April 1st, nearly 25% of county residents, or 10,812, had been partially vaccinated and 7,724 were fully vaccinated. Nearly 1.7 million have been vaccinated across North Carolina, according to DHHS. The health department adjusted its free COVID testing hours from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, dropping the hours on Saturday. People across Richmond County and the nation dressed up in blue on Friday for World Autism Day. Among them were Richmond County Chamber of Commerce President Emily Tucker, whose son is autistic, and RO's very own managing editor, Will Toller, whose brother is on the spectrum. April is recognized as Autism Acceptance Month, and those who have relatives on the spectrum are encouraged to wear blue on the second. The CDC defines Autism Spectrum Disorder as a developmental disability that can cause significant social, communication, and behavioral challenges. Several autism-related diagnoses, including Asperger's Syndrome, were merged into ASD by the American Psychiatric Association in 2013. Many causes of ASD are unknown, according to the CDC, but children born to older parents or who have older siblings with autism are more likely to be diagnosed. Autism has become more prevalent in the past decade. According to the Autism Society, the rate of autism in children was 1 in 125 in 2010. Last year, the CDC reported that it had increased to 1 in 54. Although trademarked by the Autism Society, the puzzle piece has been used as a symbol for autism awareness since 1999. The ribbon for autism awareness features puzzle pieces of varying colors, which reflect the complexity of the autism spectrum. The Richmond County Middle School golf season concluded with two matches last week. Boy and girl golfers from the district's four middle schools played in a regular season match, followed by an in-county conference championship at Twin Valley Golf Club. The same trio of golfers who took the top three spots in the first two matches of the season would also take the top three spots, respectively, in the conference title. Hamlet's Kevin Tavakold placed first in the championship, shooting a 40 on the par 37 front nine of the course. Kevin finished first in all four matches, and his score in the championship was a season low. The next two golfers to finish the season in the top three were Rockingham's Lennon Summerlin and C.J. Turner, who took second and third, respectively. When we return, we've got your Live at Five weather report. It's coming up after the break, so stay tuned. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. You were always more than my mom. You were my role model, my best friend, and biggest supporter. You filled my days with unconditional love. And you also prepared for the day when you couldn't be here. Because of the woman you were back then, I'm able to be the woman I am now. Your planning made this moment possible. Set your family up for life. Southern Farm Bureau Life Insurance. Your friends for life. JC's in Rockingham has you covered for used appliances, parts, trailers, and storage. We have one of the largest selections of reconditioned washers, dryers, and refrigerators in the Sand Hills, and we offer free delivery to residents inside Richmond County. Come check out our variety of trailers for any hauling job and our storage buildings for the things you need out of the weather or house. We also carry parts and accessories for appliances, trailers, truck beds, and can order the things you need. That's JC's on South Hancock Street in Rockingham. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection. 
friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Your Alive at 5 Weather Report is brought to you by Sunset Slush. Clouds like a Titan Ice located here in downtown Rockingham. And happy Monday, everybody. Hope you had a wonderful Easter holiday over the weekend. Uh, it was pretty nice for me. You got to go outside and enjoy uh, all that warm weather that we saw. Unfortunately, it also came with a lot of pollen. Uh, but nevertheless, really, really nice day. Or excuse me, nice weekend overall uh, for the Easter holidays. Really, really nice. Uh, hopefully, you guys had a really nice time uh, celebrating uh, looking at today though, really, really nice weather again, even better than what we saw over the weekend. Uh, and highs are getting into the 80s today, then very, very nice and warm outside. And looking at this evening, gonna be no different either. Six o'clock, 79 degrees, 10 o'clock, 63 degrees. Temperature still gonna be really, really nice with plenty of clear skies in, this, in the area. Sunset will be at 7.43 p.m. and be a third quarter moon phase out tonight as well. Now take a look at the highs and lows for tomorrow, even nicer, uh, really, really good staying around the 80s. Uh, we're gonna get down into the mid 50s for the low, but still looking pretty good for the high throughout the entire afternoon tomorrow. Bennettsville, excuse me, Fayetteville, high of 82, low of 57. Rayford, high of 81, low of 56. Down in Robeson County, high of 82 and low of 55. With Warmberg seeing a high of 82 and low of 55 as well. Up in Southern Pines be a high of 80 and low of 55. LRB a high of 81 with a low of 54. Rockingham and Hamlet will be seeing a just one degree warmer on the high. High of 82, low of 53. Down in Bennettsville, South Carolina, high of 82, low of 54. And across the PD in Waysboro, high of 81, low of 55. Now let's take a look at the 7-day forecast. The sunshine and clouds are going to be coming to a little bit of an end uh, later this week as we do have some thunderstorms coming along the way. Uh, Tuesday though, high of 82, low of 53 with sunny skies. Wednesday, party cloudy, high of 86, low of 57. Temperatures rising up from there, but they will come back down a little bit as we get into Thursday with a 30 to 40 percent chance of showers throughout the day. High of 81, low of 62. I don't think we'll see much of that on Thursday, not until late into the evening, but if we look at Friday, you're going to see those uh, chances go up a lot more to a 60% chance, high of 60, excuse me, a high of 78 and a low of 60. And we'll get Saturday and the weekend, not quite as nice as what we saw for Easter. High of 80, low of 60 on Saturday, a high of 78, a low of 58 on Sunday. And then Monday, most of the cloudy skies with a high of 73 and a low of 57. So if you are intending to get out and enjoy the weather some more, uh, now's your chance to do it tomorrow, Wednesday, looking very, very good. Thursday, I think you'll be all right. But as we get into the weekend, it's not going to be not nearly as nice as what we saw for the Easter holiday. Uh, but that's going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report and for tonight's edition of Live at 5. Of course, for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or you can download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Richmond County.